so um, in the last video I have configured the bootstrap and uh, you know that bootstrap is just a uh, way to loot the SAP UI project in the beginning of the um, beginning of the start of the project so um, now we will use the control so basically what we did previously we just uh, print a hello world but this hello world actually just a, a normal a traditional or native html hello world and after that we also use on uh, alert message that is also a native sap java function to show a alert but today we will use a control so that purpose what we have to do so now in the body actually we will change or we will replace this word by the SAP UI5 control so that's the reason uh, we just remove this because we don't need this right now so here we will um, call a class this class is SAP UI body so here it should be like this so now actually it will change to the SAP UI body so we have to configure and here we have to put a ID is content so now first it will go to here first it will load this and after that it will go to here and it will search the index.js so if i go to the index.js actually now we will use the SAP UI control that is the first control of SAP UI 5 so here actually um, we have to call the library so here you can see the SAP UI define and that is the is kind it's called the array so inside array we will call that is SAP M then text so this is array so in future if you want any other array any other um, library we can just call here so basically that is the reason you can see that <coughs> sorry it is the array sign so now we have to call we have to pass this value in the construction so that is also already passed so now we have to create a new object of the text so if we create object that is new text and here like this so now the text is actually what we will print text hello world control something like that so now this place actually where it will um, show so it's just an individual control uh, it's just a text control but now we have to define that where it will place so place at the, the place uh, that is the name of that id or that body so if i click on here so now if we run this so you can see the control is now showing so basically what happened the compiler first loot that all script so after successfully loading it's go to the index folder index is here inside that web app 
and web app that is the as per the first video tutorial i already told that uh, that is the namespace or main root is that app so that is the reason it came to the sap index and that here actually it load that library and it's just uh, make the text and i mentioned that where it will uh, it will place i mean that where it will show so it will place at the content so it will just return this text and it will come it's no need so i can just remove this so again it will come to here the html body and it will place here at the content because this content name and the index context name is here so whenever you want to place any text at any control you can just pass the places place at that is the name of the id and in the html body you can just create a id and you can just the name should be same and it will show so now it's the same way it is working so that's it the beginning of the control so uh, let's continue with the xml view in the next video thank you